the eclipse had just happened, um, and it had gone, and it sort of like poetically cut America right in half. And then the you know, Hurricane Harvey was bearing down in Texas. People didn't know if it was going to be this really catastrophic hurricane. So I had patrons who had like loaded their cars up and they were driving away from their homes, not knowing if they were going to see anything. And there was just all of this horrific climate change fear and fear of the government. And I just got the feeling that everyone was so isolated and helpless and hopeless. And I wrote down a million notes and I read them before I went to bed and I woke up in the, the next morning and I was like, right, I'm gonna write an amazing song today. I looked at all of my notes and then I did something really stupid. While I was making my coffee, I opened my computer and I wrote a flippant post about Taylor Swift on my Facebook. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> It was not even a funny joke. It was like she had put out the video for Look What You Made Me Do the day before. I had seen it. She looks really angry and goth. She's like wearing black lipstick and going, ah, you know, and it's sort of like a, the Cure Me thriller video. And I was like, congratulations, Taylor Swift. You had to be a clean cut bubblegum country pop star all through your teen hits. You didn't get to go through what we went through which was like being all alone and isolated in our bedrooms, listening to the cure, smoking clove cigarettes, and slicing our wrists. You've arrived! Welcome. You might want to rethink your endorsement deal with UPS. Those trucks are brown. Brown's not goth. Whatever, it wasn't very funny, as you can see. I came back to the internet 15 minutes later and the post had blown up and the top comment was, Amanda Palmer is clearly an unapologetic racist. <laughs> and I, I was like, how? <laughs> I figured out how. I read the 8 million comments. Taylor Swift had said something purportedly racist six days before. I had missed that memo. I hadn't mentioned her racist thing in my post, which made me a racist. And I was like, oh. Fuck you, internet. Now I was mad. <laughs> Which is actually very handy on songwriting day. <laughs>
the inmates know it's flooded and the body politic is getting sickened by the minute and the media's not fake, it's just very And they're saying not to panic, and it's like a broken record, as if anybody knows what that is. And they're saying that we'll manage, it's the hottest one on record, and they're saying that this is the way it is. No, I can taste it coming, I can taste it with my tongue, and my children are so happy, but I pick them up and run, and I know I'll have to swim soon, when the water gets too high. Holding them above me, I keep holding them and crying. So